G'day, and uh, welcome to another pen review. Uh, today, I'll be reviewing a, uh, a vintage pen, uh, one that's fairly uh, synonymous and fairly common nowadays. It's the Parker 51. Um, these came in quite a few different varieties um, and quite a few different filling mechanisms, different caps. Uh, I've got one of the fairly basic later model ones. Um, so I'll just go over it. It's fairly fairly simple on the end You've got like a pearlescent sort of gray white colored diamond um, Then you've got the typical Parker clip, which is the arrow um, It's a bit springy um, I'd be careful about pushing it too hard or it might snap It's got like a um, brush finished sort of steel cap the little band around here and it says uh, has a Parker sig symbol and uh, it says Parker made in USA. Um, then it tapers down cigar shape in the barrel just to a uh, high gloss black. Pulling the cap off, you've got your um, ring here, which is where the barrel separates from the grip of the pen and also where the cap um, connects on. You have a tapered grip down to the hooded, the classic hooded nib, nib which the uh, Parker 51 is known for. And, uh, the feed flat feed just there uh, the one I've got is uh, the Parker 51 special so it comes with this squeeze um, filler it has instructions on the uh, inside here it says uh, the Parker pen company made in USA Parker 51 special to fill press ribbed bar four times wipe front end pen point down with soft tissue use Parker ink so that's it there. Obviously this pen's been restored and is in pretty good condition. So at the moment you can see ink sloshing around in there. Um, so there we go. These pens are fairly common. Um, you can pick them up unrestored for quite a cheap price and you can get them uh, restored fairly cheap as well. Uh, most of them have a gold nib. There are a model, I think it might even be this one, that only has a steel nib. Uh, I'm not too sure whether this one has a steel or gold in it, but it has a um, uh, a stub ground nib. I think it's a 08 millimeter stub done by Greg Minuskin. Uh, so he was the one that repaired this pen and uh, ground the stub down. Uh, not, not a great deal to say about these pens. They're fairly functional. They're quite comfortable to hold in the hand, either posted or unposted. Um, they're quite comfortable either way. I like the the nice black look. Obviously the uh, nib isn't stock to, to these pens. I believe most of these pens, they come with a fairly fine nib, um, whereas this one's ground down to the stub. Uh, aside from that, there's not much more to them. They're fairly basic, no flex or any frills. They're just a very good hard working pen. Uh, I've had this one actually unused for, I think it was four weeks laying down. I picked it up and it wrote straight away first time, so it's been a great pen for that purpose as well. Uh, some of the, I think I paid about $120 US delivered for this one. Yeah, I know it was a bit over the top, might have been a little bit less, but um, yeah, I got that one off Greg Minuskin. I was pretty happy to pay it, I just wanted the uh, Parker 51. Um, so, a few dimensions, we've got the... Uh, Capped, it's 135 millimeters. Uh, posted, it's a fairly decent 150 millimeters. Um, without the cap, it's a much smaller 126 millimeters. The uh, grip at the base here is 8 millimeters, and the barrel goes up to a nice 12 millimeters. The uh, weight with the cap is 19.6 uh, grams, and the weight without the cap is uh, just over 11.5 grams. So it's quite a small, nice, uh, quite a small and light pen. Um, it's one that you can easily carry in a pocket. It just pushes on and pulls off, so you can pull it straight out, easy to write with. Um, quite versatile pens. They're always recommended for a first buyer, especially into vintage pens. Um, can't go past them, especially if they come uh, pre-repaired like this one was. But even if it didn't, uh, there are different type of filling mechanisms. I believe they did a uh, push button type, there's the aerometric and the vacuumatic, um, depending on what year it was made. Um, then you have different options in the nibs as well. 
So that's not a great deal to say much more about this pen apart from you can get them anywhere. Uh, I quite like it. It's, it was the first vintage pen I bought and uh, I haven't used it much recently but um, when I first got it I used it almost exclusively. I preferred putting um, con uh, sorry, uh, Iroshizuku uh, Asagao in this one. Um, at the moment it's inked with I think Waterman Blue. Um, but yeah, we'll go do a writing sample and show you what it can do. Thanks. Okay, so we're going to do a writing review for the Parker 51. As you can see here, it's got the uh, stub nib by Greg Minuskin, and it's a uh, fully hooded nib. All right, so let's have a bit of a writing sample. Oh, so writes very nicely. Um, Greg Minuskin generally generally makes his nibs uh, quite wet, which is uh, quite how I like them. Uh, this is the uh, Parker Fifty One Special with a zero point eight millimeter stub. I believe the ink I have in here is actually Parker Quink. There might be a little bit of water in the pen there from when I filled it up. But it uh, writes very nicely uh, the stub. You can see the line variation. Obviously not all Parker 51s will have this. Um, only ones that have custom ground nibs. Uh, give me a sec, I'll just close the blinds. That's better, the sun's starting to set here, so it's casting shadows. Um, so yeah, it's quite a nice nib, it's very smooth to write with, has nice line variation. Um, very nice pen. I'll do a bit of uh, quick writing just to show you that the fee keeps up quite well. It was tuned very well by Greg. Yeah, no skipping at all. I'll show you how wet the nib is as well. So it's quite a wet nib. Uh, nice pen, great to write with. I find this very comfortable. I generally hold it a bit higher up just because that's how I like to hold my pens. Um, but aside from that, Definitely can recommend this, uh, the Parker 51s. And if Greg's selling any like he does quite often, I'll definitely recommend picking one up from him. But you got to be quick because he normally sells out pretty quick. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped. And uh, have a great day. Bye.